Let's start, if you agree with Bree. Mm -hmm. How was it to join the big Fast and Furious family? How did your fellow cast members welcome you? They've been very nice, very oh, welcoming. Too. Yeah, we got to hang out a bunch before I started filming, which created a really nice foundation so that when I showed up on set and there's like a ton of moving pieces and we're figuring it out as we go, I at least had, I had buddies. Nice, mm -hmm. nice, good. Michelle, uh, how do you feel Fast X differ from the previous chapters of the saga? Is there any like features or characteristics of this movie that set you apart? I'd have to say, you know, it's the beginning of the end. So for 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 me, it's it's that's pretty much it. It's like um, you know, if you if you have at all loved any of the movies in the franchise and you're a fan, it's kind of like an invitation to come, you know, and walk the sunset with us. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Great. So. Shirley's. You reprise the criminal mastermind cipher in this new chapter. Do you feel mastermind? <laughs> no, it's good. Uh, I hope. No, <laughs> that's good. It. That's oh. good. Um, do you feel this character evolved in this new Fast X versus the Fate of the Furious, or uh, the character is still there with its sharp uh, like attitude? I mean, we know so little about her, so she's somewhat of an enigma. So I think for her to evolve as a character is not very practical, but I think her circumstances are constantly putting her in situations that allow for me as an actor to kind of play something different. But she's not the kind of person that I think will ever evolve. <laughs> um, I think... I think her, 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 her <laughs> body. Just, by the way, I actually believe a lot of people don't really change that much. This, this concept that we change, for not, like I don't really believe that. That's I know I'm one of the odd ones, but um, I think we like to believe that. Interesting. But um, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, yeah that's a, definitely that's a long dinner conversation. Is happening. <laughs> but I I I like that in this one, she's completely different from when we met her in eight. Okay. So that's nice, yeah. yeah see that. Probably it's just our eager desire for salvation or... Like, yeah, <laughs> no, you guys, keep, guys, keep hoping. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, okay. buddy. Chisel away. Try to get to that heart. It's in there somewhere. Touche, touche. So, Brie, how did you feel in acting and, and shooting in Italy? How was it? Did you like it? I did not shoot in Italy. Oh. I, I would have loved to, See, but I did not. This is the problem of not watching the movie. Uh -huh. before. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. No, I think it might actually look like okay. I'm in. I'm yes. here, but I wasn't. Okay. Yeah. And I apologize. That no need like to the apologize. Magic. The only oh. Italy question Dude, I had, so it's fine. Spoil it completely. Well, you can take it. <laughs> yeah, I came to shoot in Italy. Um, How was it? It was beautiful. It's really yeah. cool to see, like, you know, motorcycles and cars racing down the cobble streets of Rome. I mean, come on. How <laughs> epic is that? I'm sure the people loved it. They really did. <laughs> you know, you get the crowds of people, like, you get a couple, a few older ladies were like, yes, Mamma mia! Like, like, <laughs> cosa esta? <laughs> Stronzo in la calle. <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, it's fantastic. You know, anytime you get an opportunity to go with second unit, you know, working on these franchise movies for, for so long, you realize that's where the real fun is. So you try to, you know, as, as much as you can, you try to, you know, hop on board and work with second unit. So it was I fun. I bet. If, if I may, I think for you being there from the beginning over like a couple of decades, it must have also like an impact. Uh, to be part of such a big franchise that is so famous and get back to Italy, especially here, you're so popular. So Aww. how does it feel? You know, it's surreal. I, I don't I think I pinch myself every day, you know. It's 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 wild that we're we're a part of something that's been so loved and accepted by so many different people from around the world and I'm always like grateful. Nice. Yeah, I stay in that place because, you know, it's rare. It's not not, not a normal thing, you know. Nice. And Shirley, how was it to work with Louis Leterrier, uh, who jumped in into the production? Uh, what was your experience working with him? I mean, it was so great. I wish I had more <laughs> time with him. Um, I I spent very little time with him, but he, from afar, watching him kind of swoop in and step into a movie that needs a lot of pre-production and you really have to like spend time with it in the way that he did was just fearless. 
no ego, really kind of coming with a really strong opinion, but really allowing everybody to speak and feel comfortable. Yeah. Like, I really appreciated that, even though I only got that for like a day and a half. <laughs> yeah. I was like... He was super yeah, playful yeah. and enthusiastic. Yeah. And I got to say, you know, it's very refreshing because, you know, when, when you do these movies and if you're ever working with, with, with people who've been doing them for a very long time, Sometimes, like anything, you can just get so used to it that it can become m m monotonous in a sense, you know? And so it's just really great to have somebody come in with the childlike eyes of like, I see potential in everything. <laughs> and that's what Brie brought into it. That's what Momoa brought into it. And that's what Louis brought into it. So it was just like, for, for, for us, it was just like, oh, that's why people love this franchise. It's because of the joy that you can see in, in the potential of it. And to have like a director that's, that's that enthusiastic is just night and day, very beautiful.